Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Hunter and uh, I'm back with another video. This time it's going to be a story. So, uh, also, by the way, I got a microphone now. So, audio quality should be much better. We should be off to a better start. Well, we should be off. Well, we've improved our quality over the past couple of days, okay? Uh, if anyone wants any recommendations, this is the Razer Siren Mini. Keep that in mind, the Razer Siren Mini microphone. It's $50 at GameStop. That's where I got it from. If anyone wants to try it out, go ahead. I'm definitely not getting a sponsorship from Razer. That is definitely for sure. But it would be nice if I could. But we all know that ain't, that ain't gonna happen. Anyways, let's get right into our little, uh, our little story. So, if this video comes out the time that I want it to come out, then a video should have already been uploaded about me experimenting. So again, I want to ask you guys leave your comments to tell me what I want, to, what you guys want to see on this channel. If you guys came purely for stories, okay, nice. If you guys want to see some more discussions, some more mixed content, go ahead, let me know. I'm down for it. Anyways, let's hop in. So uh, this story is gonna be interesting because uh, I've never really told this story to anyone ever before. Um, okay, where do we start? Back in about uh, kindergarten, first grade, right? Those years. Um, I was in a daycare program. Yeah, I know. It, it, w it was never really fun not looking back on it. But I did actually make some friends, which was nice. Anyways, we, um, we were going on a field trip. Uh, this daycare program was taking us on a field trip, right? We had to get our... Uh, whatever they're called, our paper forms, whatever they are, uh, filled out by our parents and everything. You gotta make sure everything's good, pay up the money. You get the idea. Um, but it was a bowling trip, right? Uh, so that was gonna be fun. I, at least I thought it was gonna be fun, but little did I know, it was gonna take a turn for the worst. Um, so we get to the bowling alley. Again, I'm just going off what I remember in my head. Uh, it may not be the best, but we gotta do it. Um, so, we got to the bowling alley. Everything was chill. We got our bowling shoes. We got everyone set up at their lane. Like, everyone got set up at their lanes. It was uh, it was going smoothly, from what I remember. And uh, we're just bowling, having fun. But uh, me and my friend were, like, placed right next to each other. And there was just, like, this one thing. And there was, like, a certain bowling ball that always caught my eye it was like a lime green bowling ball and it was like the perfect weight for like a, 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 a five or six year old kid so i always went for that ball keep in mind i always did and my friend tried to get it too sometimes so keep in mind keep that in mind please because uh you're gonna need to so, we're bowling, everything's going all great, everything's all fine, it's all perfect, it's all good in the hood. I probably shouldn't have said that, that was a mistake. Um, but, uh, something tragic is going to happen very soon, and it was not very pleasant at all. Uh, so, we're bowling, right? Everything's going perfect. I'm actually hitting some pins, and I'm not getting the ball in a gutter. That was even a surprise to me, but we had to put the bumpers up, so it really wasn't a surprise to me, but you know the bowling ball machines, right? The ones that dispense the bowling balls, like, you know how it like goes down and it comes up from the bowling ball machine? Yeah. So that was happening a couple times, right? And I didn't get the ball I wanted one time. My friend got it, and that didn't make me very happy because, uh, I had a little bit of some issues. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not afraid to admit. I had a little bit of issues back then. There was a lot of stuff going on. But um, so he gets the bowling ball. I get a little angry about it. I'm just like, but that's my ball. And he's just like, sorry, I kind of got it first. It happens. First come, first serve. And I was just like, understandable. But I'm still not happy with it. And he was just like, understandable. And um. So, he hits a good, he hits actually a really good thing, and then, like, it's my turn to bowl, right? My turn's up. I'm like, yes, I'm gonna get the ball first from him, because it's his, like, second turn, you know how I'm bowling, yeah. You all know how bowling works, it's not the best sport, but it's fun when you have, like, friends sometimes. It's an iffy thing, you know, but, 
Um, I was like, I'm gonna get the ball first this time, right? And I see the ball coming up from the machine, right? I like see it like coming up from the back. So I run. I stick my hand in the machine. I literally just jam my hand in there to get the ball. And my hand gets stuck. My entire hand to like a little bit of like past my wrist. It gets stuck in the machine, right? And it hurt. It really, really hurt. Because like that stuff was twisting my entire hand and wrist. And it was not fun. Um... I just remember sitting there, screaming, I was like, MY HAND'S STUCK IN A BOWLING BALL MACHINE! HELP! And like, so my friend, like, he's just like, okay, I don't know what to do. So he just like goes to a teacher, and he's just like, yeah, Hunter got his hand stuck in a bowling ball machine. And I'm over here like, crying, because it's so painful. And like, all the other kids are freaking out, because my hand's stuck in a bowling ball machine. And like, I'm screaming, and they're just like, is he dying? What's happening to him? Is he okay? Like, I, I don't know. And it's just like... Whew. It was painful. And then they got a teacher. Right? And then they got some of the staff. And then they got a... And then they got a, war, a staff member. They got, like, a three staff members to come and, like, open up the bowling ball machine. They were able to, like, lodge my hand out of the bowling ball machine. And, okay. Here's the funniest part. Here's the funniest part about it all. So, they get my hand out, right? And the bowling ball comes out. And then my friend immediately grabs it and just runs to go bowl. And I'm just like, no remorse for the kid who just got his hand stuck in a bowling ball machine and wanted that ball first? Thanks a lot, friend. And anyways, they called my mom. And she came and picked me up. We went to the doctor. Uh, surprisingly, I did not fracture or break my hand or wrist. It was all fine. It was just twisted up. Uh, it took a bit of healing though, uh, but it all went back to get. It all went back. It was smooth. It was all good. Uh, it was a happy ending, right? Yeah, that was pretty much it. I got my hand stuck in a bowling ball machine. It hurt, uh, and everything was fine after that. After I got it out, just got twisted. Nothing was broken or fractured. Actually, did you guys know that I've never actually broken a bone or fractured a bone ever in my life? That's pretty cool. Anyways, we have reached the end of the video. Um, I usually don't ask this, but I, again, I'm actually trying to get somewhere on YouTube instead of just sticking with 21 subscribers. So if you guys could please subscribe. That would be nice. You don't have to leave a like or anything. You can do what you want. You have all free will, but like, consider it at least. Check out all the other content. Again, this is the first video with a microphone. So, that's something. But, again, check out all the other content. You might like it. Who knows? You could subscribe. I don't know. But, uh, anyways, make sure you all stay safe out there in these uh, trying times. And, uh, have a wonderful day. Alright, peace out.